a massive roguelike city crawler that boasts about killing your way, destroying your way, basically playing your way. It has 20 characters currently ranging from blods to creeps, shapeshifters to a hobo, gorillas to werewolves, and many, many more. This game has the violence of Binding of Isaac and the silliness of Nuclear Throne combined. My name's Dice, and I'm going to be reviewing Streets of Hope. I'm going to be reviewing this game in five different parts. The graphics, gameplay, story, sound and music, and content. And before we get into this, the most of the game I'm going to show is two stages, slums and industrial, because I don't want to ruin the game or spoil the game for the people that are going to get this. So let's get into the review. The graphics in Streets of Rogue has a 3D top-down pixel setting. The pixel graphics were well put together to give this old-school silly vibe. With each character, item, and location having thought and precision put into it, even though the game has pixel art, you can distinctly tell what something is or who someone is in comparison to other games like Pixel Dungeon, for example. The animations in the game have correct correspondence to what item or weapon it is. The guns have a great gunfire pixel animation, with smoke right after some of the guns that really makes you feel like you shot a gun. The explosive weapons like grenades and missiles have great bright explosive effects. The fighting animations after you kill somebody and give them have a splatter of blood and guts everywhere that makes it a literal bloodbath. For what the developers are going for with the graphics and how satisfying it is to me, I give the graphics a 10 out of 10. The gameplay of Streaks the Rogue is extremely addicting. Each time you die, the game has you coming back for more. After picking one of the many characters, you're placed in the slums. This is where you start doing your missions, grinding XP, and getting level perks. Each level comes with three missions, and a bonus mission at times, that will give you chicken nuggets. Now, chicken nuggets are a home-based currency that you can use to buy perks, traits, and weapons. After finishing these missions, you proceed to the next level, or stay to steal everybody's items, or just straight up murder everybody, it's your choice. Each stage has three sub-levels, so you will be in the slums for three levels. Every level you go through, you're collecting items, killing, passing missions, and leveling up. It's, it can be fun, but repetitive missions get, can get annoying, which could be cured if there were diverse missions. Talking about currency, there are not too many opportunities to get it. When you level up, you get three chicken nuggets, and when you complete a mission, you get five. Speaking of leveling up, one thing I found to be really cool is the events that happen during your level of advancements. For example, there's a, miss a missile event that everywhere you go, there's a missile trying to blow you up. There is also a goo event that is constantly spreading through the level. And my favorite one, there's a war event between cannibals and soldiers that you do not want to get caught in. Trust me. Different NPCs react to other classes in different ways throughout the game. For example, gorillas and scientists hate each other, just like a blood and a crap despise each other. Gameplay, 9 out of 10. So as I said in this beginning, I'm going to rate a game off of their story. Well, I'm not really going to rate a story for a game when it doesn't really have one. Because in this game, it's not binding you down and restricting you to a set linear path. It's a free roam do what you want type of game. So if you're looking for story in this game, then this is not for you. The music and sounds in this game is phenomenal. I often find myself humming the songs after playing the game. Each stage has its own music and everything was made by the devs. They even have a soundtrack out for it. The sounds are spot on from the sounds to punches and your enemies crashing through the walls to the alert sound when they hear something and, tr and you're trying to sneak into their base. Everything has its own distinct custom made sound that doesn't sound like it's coming from an asset store. Music and sounds, 10 out of 10 by far. The content in this game is filled to the brim and you're getting more than your money's worth of $15 when it comes to this game with running updates. You're also getting multiplayer for the game and this game doesn't have a dumb AI. They work with their surroundings and their awareness. Like if they don't have a weapon in the middle of a gunfight, they'll pick up a rock. Speaking of awareness of surroundings, they know who causes destructions and who hits them and proceeds to fight with said person. The content in this game, for the quality that you're getting, is a 10 out of 10. So yes, if you want a game where you can do whatever you want, 
and have no consequences and just have a game where it's not competitive and you're just having fun the streaks of rogue is for you now if you're looking for a story of course this isn't your game but to me i rate this game a 9 out of 10 from all the things that i've observed now thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed um this is the first time that i made a review video so critique me hard in the comments for it and i would love for y'all to watch me in the next one peace